So I've been working on a coding platform for a couple of months now, and I've been really struggling with the UI. As the backend developer that I am, I tend to ignore my bad looking UI in replacement of good functionalities on the site. However, many of you guys have been messaging me telling me how I need to fix the UI because no one's gonna come to my platform. So I took upon the challenge to really dive deep into fixing the UI to look more modern and sleek. So what I'd like to do in this video is share a couple of modern UI tricks that you can implement into your website all of which you can implement right now. So the first aspect of a modern looking site is the font. Now, I never used to care about what it looked like. I always just tell myself like, why do we have to care about what the, the font looks like? Let's just work on the site. However, it plays a bigger role than you might think. And from what I've used, the best looking font for a modern site would be the interclass. And if you're using Next.js, I believe this is the uh, default font, but it's my favorite. It's so modern and it's, it's so clean looking. Like it's very easy to read things. And it, it looks good. But now you may say, bro, Nazar, this doesn't matter. Why do I have to care about the font? Who cares? I already have a clean font. Let me know more. And this is where gradients come in. I honestly believe adding gradients to a site is such an easy yet underrated way to make it look modern. Just compare this title, right? This is what it looks like with a gradient. And this is what it looks like without a gradient. And as you can see, such a huge difference for such little code. So what you can do to add a modern feel gradient to your text is to simply write this. Text transparent, BG clip text, BG gradient to write from blue via pink to blue. And obviously you can change the colors here. And if you're just using CSS, then just translate it in chat GPT. It's very simple. Now you can also just do like from blue to pink and you can just change this. But I find that this triple color where it's purple, pink, purple or blue, pink, blue, I'm getting a little confused there looks the cleanest. And if you're gonna add one thing, trust me, add some gradient to your text. It's such a great yet easy way to make your website look cleaner. And you can also add it to the buttons where when the user hovers over it, a gradient comes up. Beautiful way to make your site look beautiful. Now, another way to make your site look freaking beautiful is to add grid backgrounds to your site. So this is the one you guys were making fun of me for because I didn't have a grid background before and you guys sort of forced me to get into it. I can't lie. It was an absolute game changer for me. And it's so easy to do this, okay? And again, just to show you, this is what it looks like with the grid background. And this is what the site looks like without the grid background. And I know some people may prefer this non-grid look to the background, but if you're looking to make your site modern, sleek, and again, beautiful, do this. Simply go to your CSS file and write this. So we added a background image with the linear gradient, like the gray part, and then added the grid sizes as well. So again, it's the background image with a radial gradient and then two linear gradients, and then making the background size however we please. So for example, if we want the grid sizes to be bigger, we can just put it to 20 pixels. We can also go to like 30 pixels if we really want to. But honestly, there's a lot you can do. Maybe you can make it smaller, uh, less visible, or a lot more visible based on your interests. Now, the final way to to make your website look more modern is to add UI libraries. So this is what I mean. This I did not code. I took this from a UI library. A UI library is basically a mix of components that you can copy from the site where you like they give you the code and then you just implement into your website. And there are two UI libraries that I wanted to talk about. The first one is ShatCN UI and the next one is Asternity UI. For example, let's say I wanted to make an input that displays like a search bar and has a search functionality. I have two options. I could either create this on my own, take up a ton of space on my code base, or I could head over to ShatCN UI, look up like the command section, and then simply get the code and then implement it into my own program. And all I did was install command from ShatCN, and then I just implemented it into my code. And by the way, I'll leave the links to everything in the bio. And now the next UI library that I think you're much more interested in is Asternity. Just look how beautiful this is. It's, it's honestly shocking how nice this is. And like ShatCN, all you need to do is just install it, implement it into your utils, and then copy the source code. And you end up with something like this. And obviously you don't want to use UI libraries for everything you do, it'll get sick, but utilize them in a smart way. Use them in your landing page, use them in the main pages of your application to really show the vibrance and modernity, if that's even the word, of your site. So yeah, these were just a couple of the things that I have utilized on my site. And it doesn't have to be hard. I know a lot of you are either new or non, um, experienced front end developers utilize libraries and utilize the things that we learned in this video. Things such as adding grids, using special font, using gradients and UI libraries. They're so simple, so easy, and they add a beautiful touch to the applications that you will build. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please like and subscribe. It goes a long way and it means the world to me. I love you. Happy coding. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.